Elite Dangerous has changed a lot since its release, with Horizons letting us land on planets, Odyssey giving us space legs and in the recent updates giving us the Thargoid Maelstroms and a handful of new modules to aid the war effort. There's a lot of things I'd like to see added to this game. There's the obvious one, more ships would be a good start. I've always been curious what happened to the Type 8 from Lacon, and I really wish NPC crew members would stop banging on about the Panther Clipper LX unless we're going to be allowed to fly one anytime soon. It's like giving someone a hanger full of sidewinders and telling them that they're not allowed to crash any of them. It's just a little bit mean, but I digress, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. With the recent Maelstroms, it shows that Elite has the technology to let us fly in murky, difficult to see and presumably gas-filled environments, and I'm not talking about flatulence. Do you know what else is filled with gas and is probably quite murky aside from a curry house bathroom on a Friday night? Gas giants. Those huge planets you see frequently in the galaxy that you can't do a lot with aside from scan, unless of course they have rings for mining. Surely it wouldn't be too much of a step for FDEV to allow us to fly in the upper atmosphere of these gas giants. I'm not talking about flying straight through one, that would be silly. Given the immense pressures and temperatures involved, for example, Jupiter's core is estimated to have around 650 million pounds of pressure, and temperatures exceeding 20,000 Kelvin. I'm talking about flying in the upper atmosphere and potentially being able to scoop resources directly from the planet's atmosphere. One of the things that captured my imagination as a kid was Cloud City residing in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant Bespin in The Empire Strikes Back. Would giant floating settlements held in a gas giant atmosphere be too much of a stretch for Elite? As for flying in that sort of atmosphere, you'd need some sort of pressure indicator on the dashboard, too much pressure resulting in a very crushed ship. You could even build safeguards into Covus to simply prevent the ship from going too low, similar to how it reacts when you try to approach an Earth-like world or water world. So that's one thing I'd like to see added to Elite. I'll probably put a few more of these in between the larger ship reviews to fill the gap, but what do you think? Would you like to fly in this sort of environment, or is it a little bit of a stretch too far from a lore perspective? Let me know what you think in the comments. With all that said and done, have an excellent day, and I'll see you on the next video. 07 to you all.